Hello again. Advocacy on tribal lands, guiding principles. Congress has the ultimate right to pass legislation governing Native Americans, even with that legislation conflicts with our Indian treaties. The United States owes a duty of protection to Indian nations and tribal members akin to common law trust. Indian nations retain inherent sovereign powers subject to divestiture only by agreement or by Congress. State law does not apply in Indian country absent authorization by Congress. Congress must clearly state an intention to divest in tribal sovereignty. In information from the National Congress of American Indians, expert from their 2019 policy update publication. Tribal nations provide a, bright, a range of governmental services that include education, law enforcement, judicial systems, healthcare, environmental protection, natural resource management, and basic infrastructure, such as housing, roads, bridges, sewers, public buildings, telecommunications, broadbands, and electrical services, and solid waste treatment and disposal. Census data plays a key role in allocation of more than 800 billion in federal funding for all of these services. We are on a learning curve when it comes to tribal community advocacy. We have a few resources to share, but I know there will be tons more, especially with continued work with uh, missing, murdered indigenous women, water access to tribal lands. As if you may not know, there's several tribal lands that do not even have uh, running water to their homes, such as the Navajo Nation, oil pipes and sacred water, and moving forward with the All Children Matter. I don't know if you have been aware with the husband going up in Canada with our First Nations, and then also in the United States with uh, the uh, Indian boarding schools and finding children that have been lost and bringing them back home.